Our facility is mainly focused on PET CT for oncology purposes, uh, but we uh, have a large range of referrals from uh, surgical oncology, medical oncology, and radiation oncology. And with the MCT flow, we've actually been able to increase the number of patients that we support on a daily basis. But at the same time, we've actually also been able to increase the types of scans and the complexity of the scans. When the MCT came, I really didn't understand the exact capabilities of the scanner. It was uh, only until we started actually imaging patients that I realized the customization that we could do for each patient and the cancer type that they had. Previously, I had a single protocol for all cancers and a separate one for melanoma. But now I'm able to actually change the protocol for lung cancer, for colon cancer with liver mets, for melanoma, for head and neck cancer. Continuous bed motion overall provides a number of benefits. And, and in general, it changes the overall way that we think about PET and the way that we set up PET. Uh, prior to this, we, we dealt with uh, multiple bed positions that we would have to do. And now we just worry about the range that we want to scan the patient. The workflow for the technologist has improved tremendously. With the uh, continuous bed motion or flow, we're able to set the specific ranges we want, which decreases the time for the patient, and it also decreases the radiation dose for the patient by being able to set our exact limits. The brilliance of this technology is really the ability to constantly monitor and change the scanner parameters as time goes on in a single patient. We don't have to stop, we don't have to change parameters. All the parameters set prior to the patient actually coming on. One of the things we've noticed about patient cooperation with the, the Biograph MCT flow is the continuous bed motion actually seems to make them want to stay in place more, more tightly. Uh, generally, we have issues with patients wiggling around quite a bit. With the MCT flow, and we're able to set multiple ranges at different speeds. And what that allows us to do is to apply high definition to one area if we really are interested in that area. And also, we're able to minimize the motion in that area by being able to change different ranges and not having to take the time to do that over the entire body. Now I can slow down the head and neck, get the higher resolution that I need because of the smaller lymph nodes that's there and the smaller primary tumors that's located there, and then do a faster scan through the rest of the body because the likelihood of a metastasis from, a, let's say, a squamous cell of the uh, head and neck uh, to abdomen is actually fairly low, so I don't need a high resolution of the abdomen anymore. With continuous bed motion, the improved uniformity has actually enabled us to use all of the data that we acquire in any given scan. With the gating and with high definition, we get a much clearer view of exactly where the lesion is and whether or not we should do something about it. Where we were often confused about that in the past, today we have a much clearer understanding of which path patients should take, more of a definitive idea. Beyond that, the image quality is much superior to what we had. And it just is, has been an overall better experience for the technologists, the patients, and the physicians because we have more data, uh, we're able to process the patients more quickly, it gives our staff more time to spend with the patients. From a technologist's point of view, it's pretty nice to be able to create an image that is really nice for your patient. And the fact with the MCT flow, you can do that with every patient. You're not time limited. The ability to customize the scanning parameters for each patient is something that I've never had before. And so this allows me to personalize all the medicine for each patient that I get. We knew in order to, to build the business the way that we wanted to build the business, we needed a cutting edge system. And the, and the cutting edge that we needed really was the continuous bed motion acquisition.